on to the final question in this question paper series from the university of mumbai the subject is engineering graphics here we go problem 6a let's try to crack this so we've been given the front and top view of an object front and the top view draw the isometric view of the object it's a very easy problem let me tell you honestly and you can crack this in the next 10 to 10 but 5 to 10 minutes very easy okay uh let's study both the front and top view simultaneously and we'll try to figure out the maximum length width and height here we go just take a look at this what is the length sir the length happens to be 70 what is the width sir it is 30 so we are going to initially kick off by simply marking a point and then length you can you can do the length over to this side or this side as your choice so i am opting 70 millimeters over to the right hand side and please make sure this is at an angle of 30 degrees at an angle of 30 degrees okay please uh, make a rough sketch uh, something like this uh, just a sec this way the this is the isometric axis and you also you've got to move your scale along these lines parallel to these lines because you are making an isometric drawing that is the reason uh, the best way to create such lines is first of all to make two lines at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal when you do that since this is 90 automatically this angle becomes 120 and this angle also becomes 120 and you are left with 120 degrees so that you can say that's 120 this is also 120 this also is 120 degrees so equal angle isometric that's the meaning of the term <clears throat> sir how should we proceed from here this is 70 this is 30 done now what keep your drafter parallel to this line done tighten the screw bring it over here and draw a line in the same fashion repeat the same for this line also over here so the height has been given as 10 millimeters so we are going to initially build this platform and once this platform is created i'm going to then uh, go for this profile here we go let us give all the four corners a height of 10 millimeters join all of these points um what i wish to do next i want to remove these edges as they fall directly below the top face let me remove them okay just to make sure that you guys don't get confused right there are going to be so many lines it is possible that you there i mean there may be some confusion creeping inside your head okay now what now you need to take care of this very point i am going to make this rectangle this rectangle is 40 by 20 again how much sir this is 40 you can see this this is 20 you can see this how do we locate this point can be done very easily this in totality is 70 out of which this much is 40 70 minus 40 gives you 30 that means half of that 30 will be here another half will be here so that's 15 and 50 secondly uh, what is the distance between these two points can you work it out yes sir 30 minus 20 will give you 10 that means half of 10 that is over here is 5 and the remaining half is here so what you need to do is let me zoom in with respect to this point travel 15 millimeters to the right and then travel in the upward direction by a distance of 5 millimeters can you do this so we've got this point over here 15 and then 5 this is yes sir 15 and this is sir this is 5 so we've reached here 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 okay let me erase all of these things so far so good now sir this is 40 20 40 and 20 so let me make this rectangle in the isometric drawing 40 20 40 20 done in one go okay okay please make sure that these lines are absolutely parallel these all are isometric lines uh if you watch uh, there is this peak right at the center okay so i'm going to be making these two points with the help of a simple line i am basically interested in these two points and through these two points i i'm going to give them a height of 35 plus 35 which happens to be 70 millimeters if you watch carefully if you say this is one and this is two so this 
over here is going to be one dash and two dash. You can also say this is one and two. So one and two, both of them will be given a height of 35 plus 35, that is 70. And here we go. Okay. So connect these two. Although uh, some portion in the middle has to be chipped off later. Don't worry. We are going to do it. And now you can join these two points and these two points. Here we go. Done. Uh, by the way, you have to do all of this construction using a 3H pencil and even hold it very lightly. Construction should be barely visible. Okay. Sir, what about this uh, dashed line? What is a dashed line used for? Sir, it is used to represent hidden edge. So there must be some hidden edge. This is that hidden edge, which you guys aren't able to see from the front. Okay, from over here. So, uh, so as of now i'll make that edge over here its exact location will be worked out don't worry and now let's let's how much was this sir this is 5 sir this is 10 and sir this is again 5 5 10 5 so from both of these locations 5 10 and once you enter 5 you are going to reach here exactly okay now you go for joining these points join this way and then you can connect connect join right again when you make these lines they have to be parallel to this line over here which is a non-isometric line so make use of the mini drafter keep your drafter parallel to this line aligned along this line tighten the screw bring it over to this point and this point and draw these two lines and same is the case with these two lines also your drawing is done Okay, let me show you the magic. Once uh, the portion is which is going to be visible to you is this. This is the portion which will be visible to you. Okay, uh, as far as this hidden feature is concerned, this hidden edge, this is that hidden edge I'm talking about. This is that edge. Okay, I'm sure you now have a good assessment as to how to go about your task as far as this problem is concerned. That's it. It's over. Isometric projection done and dusted. Okay, so damn easy. Eight marks in your kitty. All right. See you in the next problem.